What's up guys? Wanted to have a little chat to you and clear some things up. I hope the audio is okay. I'm doing this on the drive with the AirPods in. I think it will be sufficient. The message I want to share with you is regarding the low carb, high fat, plant-based, carnivore cults and I only say that because there is such a dogmatic personal not even association it's stronger than association like a personal identity people identify their whole entire being is wrapped up with a, a food approach. Now, vegans, I understand a little bit more because there is more of a philosophical connection to their food choices for most as opposed to a macro counter, right? Macro, it's not like a personal belief system. Macro, it's just making gains, gains, baby, gains. Um, keto, you could paleo, you know, all the all the different boxes out there, all the different boxes. And, and people say, but Dolce, you have a diet system too. You have a diet system too. So why aren't you a part of that group? Number one, Dolce Diet just sounds cool, right? It just sounds cool. It's alliteration. If my last name were Smith, it'd be like the Smith system. It wouldn't have diet in it. But diet sounds cool. It's alliteration, man. It's branding. Get your branding on a little bit. You guys know who I am. But that being said, that just allows me to get your attention. Now that I have your attention, I can actually converse with you and share with you and hopefully inspire you, educate you, while entertaining you. And with that, I want you to understand, I need you to understand, you need you to understand. Food is food, food is fuel, guys and gals. Food is fuel. Food is, is not what makes you cool you know it's not what you buy t-shirts about it's it, it's not you know your 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 politics in the same way that the transmission fluid and the gasoline in your car isn't a, a driver doesn't identify your vehicle. Food is just, it's fuel, that's all it is. It makes the rest of it work. And I say this because there's so many, there's such a polarization in the health and fitness nutrition world, specifically around these type of specific big, I call them big bursts because they're, they're like big bursts, boom, everybody knows about it. And then they shrink back up on themselves. That, that's what these things are. That's what that's what keto is. That's what carnivore is. That's what paleo was, right? Where's where's paleo? Where's paleo? Paleo's gone now. Macro is is all but gone. Uh, you know, the four out of five people don't really do the macro anymore. They've jumped onto the other. The intermittent fasting thing, right? Ah, oh, where's that going? You know, that, that's kind of there, was there, was big there three months, nine months ago, you know, six months um, back. It was really huge, but if, if you really look at what's going on, it's, it's kind of starting to shrink back in on itself. And I say this because many of you are jumping. You jump from, from you know, Atkins to zone to macro to paleo to keto to fasting to slim trainer to detox tea to a pseudo weekend vegan you know all these all these different things you guys jump to or other people jump to you know not you but other people jump to and that makes me sad 
that makes me sad because you've missed so much time adequately fueling your body, allowing you to properly enjoy your body, your life, your output, your energy, your activity. Because you're, you're chasing this, the, the, the pink unicorn of the fitness world, which is the perfect shortcut. There is no perfect shortcut. There's just a way humans were meant to live in fuel. There's that. So when we talk, Dolce, you have a diet though. You know what my diet is? You know what our diet system is? Eat real food, right? Num principle number one, eat real food. Carnivores, what? Eat only meat, only meat. Blueberries, bad. No blueberries on carnivore. You're carnivore, only meat. And then I say, well, well, hey, carnivore people, um, you say only meat, like what kind of meat? Like I can go to McDonald's and, uh, and get like a, a double Big Mac with no bun and no tomato and no lettuce. I can eat that? Yes. So I can go to McDonald's and eat their sh, their sh, their food like substances and that's allowed I can do that all day but I can't eat blueberries dude really dude really that's what you're coming out with? coming at us with that, that that's your best that's your best approach to this only meat all right so I can't take you seriously and you don't have a good reason why I, I can't have blueberries and and quinoa or damn even hemp seeds are you kidding me? I can't eat any of that? Or the keto people. Oh, hey, keto people. So I, I must, I must, I must be in metabolic ketosis in order to achieve results. Yes, metabolic ketosis cures cancer. Metabolic ketosis cures epilepsy. What's the wrong with you, Dolce? You want people to get cancer and epilepsy and die? What? What are you conflating over there, keto world? What? No, that's not actually anything that we say. We just ask why, because if you're, if you're selling a ketogenic diet, you're selling to the public that you can get them into the metabolic state of ketosis. And if your clients don't achieve the metabolic state of ketosis, guess what? You are not selling them a ketogenic diet. You're selling them a low carb diet. But you're calling it a keto diet. You're calling it a ketogenic diet. You're saying you're the, you know, the, the expert in keto, big keto experts running around out there, right? Big keto experts. But truly, the vast majority of their clientele never achieves ketosis. They might skim the surface once or twice. They just stopped eating a lot of processed carbohydrates. They started being more conscious of their total caloric intake. That's all it really is. Same thing with paleo. Paleo just got people to stop eating all the processed shit, heavily processed shit, and their calories dipped down for a little while. And they saw good results and they lost weight. And then they slowly started dipping their calories back up again and it all fall to shit right? Because that's why people aren't really doing paleo anymore. Because of the cycles and the big burst and then it shrinks back upon itself, what I said earlier. What my point is, all of these, these systems have these serious flaws to them, making them unsustainable. So if they're not sustainable, why are you going to follow them when you can have equal and mostly greater results by simply following an ordered eating program establishing a healthy relationship with all healthy food, all real food, that you eat in great variety, as local and organic as possible. You eat every two to four hours or so based upon activity. Well, not one meal a day. Why can't I eat two meals a day? Well, because you're fasting for six hours. Well, what about six and a half hours? What about eight hours? What if I really had a hard workout and I need another meal? Why, why I, I can't have that because of what? because of some dogma and, and, and digestion and, 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 and whatever nonsense they spit out there. That's not the way it works. That's a disordered 
eating program. It's a disordered relationship with food, especially as it's followed long term. So here at the Dolce Diet, why I'm talking to you today as I'm driving to Whole Foods to feed my family, practicing what I preach, I hope, I'm trying to point you in the direction of making sensible food choices and eating real food and being intentional intentional about the food that you're eating, the food that you're choosing. Being mindful of what this food will do for you. Why are you eating the food? Be mindful as you're being intentional. I'm, choos I'm choosing to drive to Whole Foods right now to buy groceries for my family. This is a choice. I'm not stopping at KFC or McDonald's or Dunkin' Donuts or the bagel shop on the way to work or to drop my kids off at school. I'm getting real food that will be supplied in my home and I'm buying, I'm buying strawberries and blueberries and grapes and watermelon and cantaloupe and chia seeds and sunflower seeds and hemp seeds and flax seeds and, and, and apples and kale and spinach and chard and, and, and sprouted grain breads and, and nut butters and, and jams and quinoa and white rice and baked potatoes and sweet potatoes and broccoli. These are all the things I'm going to buy right now for my family and, and wild caught salmon and, and, and a grass fed lean meat if they have it. These are the things I'm going to buy for my family right now. These are the things that I eat every day. These are the things my family eats every day. These are the things that the millions of people who follow what we teach here over at the Dolce Diet eat every day. And they're in better shape than nearly everybody on any other system out there, right? Because we have the proof, we can show that. You guys all know the results. Millions of people have tried our system. Millions of people have, have had amazing results. And I'm not pitching you right now. I'm saying it's, it's just, it's evidence-based, right? But it's so common sense. And this is what I'm trying to do. So the Dolce Diet, we're here to entertain, to educate, and to inspire. You know, me here being, you know, the, 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 the meathead clown, trying to get your attention and talk to you, you, pay attention, you, and then educate you. Hey, this is what we're doing. This is what works. It works for millions of people who aren't suffering, who aren't sacrificing, who aren't, you know, breaking down lean muscle tissue and storing non-functional body mass, getting skinny fat, though the scale's dropping, who aren't, you know, getting tired or exhausted or constant headaches and, and, and general fatigue and digestive it, it upset, like many of you who transition into all these crazy meal plans and never quite lose that, though the scale goes down. Not us, we're just eating real food. Oats and, and, and buckwheat and amaranth and... and uh, quinoa, like I said, and, and potatoes. What do we have? Meatloaf and mashed potatoes I had on Wednesday night, last night. Meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and s broccoli, steamed broccoli with grass-fed butter was awesome. It was awesome. Grass-fed butter in my, my mashed potatoes, white potatoes, right? Real food, why not? Real food, why not? This is what we teach, and this is kind of my little rant, and I hope it's helpful. Now I'm going to go in and get my shopping done. Boom.